The following documents and recordings are the continuing instalments in a compilation detailing the events surrounding the stranded archaeological team sent to base Camp Piedra and the rescue team sent in search of them. Previous records show the archaeological team remaining at the Patagonian site to consist of Dr. Josefa Guerrero and Simon Hall, with the now assumed losses of Dr. Carito Ureta, Dr. Xiao Liu, and Lucas Criado. The assembled rescue team consisted of Graham Kasner, Dragana Vukovic, Ramey Armstead, and returning archaeological team member Ava Olivia Moreno, having lost Mahir Asa to the dangers of the site. Following the previous instalment, the team tried to quickly prepare for their return to the mountainside and their descent back to El Chel Ten, but they were halted by an unexpected reappearance and a quick, violent tremor. In the winter months, Snowstorms and rainfall in the Patagonian ice fields can drastically affect the landscape. Worsened by heavy winds, such storms can reduce visibility and lead to glacial calving, ice collapses and avalanches. During these conditions, travel is not advised. The White Vault Following is the continued recording from the body camera assigned to Mr. Kasner. In the quick, chaotic movements of the team during and after the tremor within the chamber, the camera lost sight of the figure of Mr. Criado. Where'd he go? Eva, Remy, get everything in the packs now. No need for order. It couldn't have been Lucas. It's... It's it, again, it's it, like it was with show. We need to live. You're right. We'll take what data we have, and we need to live. The look as I saw last. He was so wounded. Blood everywhere. It's the sangre. Ava, get up. Get moving. Ava! Yes, I can help. Let's get moving. We don't know if... Say, there's more to know. No? Understanding. Ava, get back to the real world and help us. Josefa, my friend. Stop! Graham, the mountain. Simon, you ready to head down? I'm worried, too, Dragana. It might have been a forward shock. We need to move. I'll watch out. You help them get prepared. Ava looks like she's in shock. There's another possible problem. It could try to cave us in. It trapped them before. It may be looking to do it again. Naravno, ovo može uraditi. Šta ja razmišljam? Zašto bi imalo smisao? Okay. If you see anything again, tell me and stay near us. What do we do next? We can't move him like this. We won't. Get that from your pack top. It's a rescue litter. Open it up and roll it out. I'll help set up the strap kit when you're ready. That's what that is? I mean, I'm glad, but I spent the whole hike up here trying to figure out why I was hauling up a yoga man. Eva? Look at me. Look, yes. Hi. I know you're not in good condition to help lift Simon, so I need you to take the gun and help Graham keep watch. Eva, look at me. We're going to get out of this. Yes. You're going to get out of this. I'll help Graham keep a lookout. Please help Simon. Josefa? That's my hair's pack. It's yours now. Get this harness on and adjust it to fit you as best you can. Do I? We need all the gear here? It's too heavy. Josefa, my friend. You can hear her, right? You can hear so. We hear it. Stay focused. Get the gear ready. Remy, how are you doing with the litter? It's out. What's next? Then we run the straps to keep it in place and prepare to put Simon on it. Hand me those. I found the uh, yellow packet with the bandages. I still plan on doing it, even if you stay here. I'd hate to have to kill you, kid. Let me help then. Like I said, 
I'll destroy any part of this place for as long as I can. And you came far more prepared to do damage than I did. Can you, though? You said it's hard enough already. If I gave you the control, could you blow the treasure down to rubble? I think so. Did you want to do this in Svalbard? Not when I was still in it, but every day after, yes. Sitting in that hospital, thinking about Rosa and the others, and trying to figure out how much I'd need to send that ice crashing down on the village. Ice? We never told you that. It was all under this blue dome of ice. Dozens of abandoned buildings built out of stone. An amphitheater, just like this, hidden under a massive ice sheet. Sounds amazing. For a moment, it was. Yeah, I get that. I'll do it. Just tell me what to do. Let's get this done. Dragana, if Simon's set in and ready to move, take the preparations down and into the cave. Ava and I will keep watch up here and join you when everything's ready. Don't let Josepha near the cave entrance yet. We know it's after her. Hmm? Yeah, yeah, fine. We'll bring him down the steps. And then we still have a few more things to get ready. You think he'll need a neck brace? It won't hurt him to try. He'll be tossed every time we hit a rock. I think he's gonna need it. Do it down there, then. We need to start moving. Now. Okay, Remy, see these lines? Clip this one to your harness after we get down there and get you set up. And you'll want to hold these as we move him. Okay. You and I will change positions once we reach the mountainside and you get the hang of it. I can do it. I can get him down. I know you could, but I have more skill on the mountain and I prefer both of you get down in one piece. I'll control the weight for now. You'll guide him. Let us do our jobs and worry about this. You can start thinking on what he'll need when you get out of here. He's not going to be running marathons the moment we step into El Charlton. If he... if he did, I would know it wasn't the real Simon. Why aren't they coming for us now? What are they waiting for? I... I, I don't know. Ready? Slowly and... pull! <sighs> <sighs> Thought he'd be heavier. Follow in front of him down the stairs. Watch his angle. Don't let him turn. And I'll control his descent speed. Yosefa, stay next to Raimi. Are you going to be okay up here, Graham? Get down there and finish the prep. We'll watch up here. Hold it steady and keep an eye on the cave entrance. We need to set these up. The amphitheater may not be close enough to an entrance to ensure that the place gets blocked up, but it's one of the targets. The other one should be our door here. We don't know of another way out of here, so this is the main goal. We can't destroy everything with what we have, but we can make sure nothing gets out and no one else gets in. I found another tunnel under the anatomical theater. What if it's a way out? There's also dozens of unexplored tunnels beyond the ossuary, but we don't have time to assume they can get out of the complex that way. Yeah, fine. Okay, so let me set the charge in the theater. I'll set it up on the dais. These things don't care to try and kill me or stop me, so I think it's a good guess they'll just let me wander right in. Broke those boxes and tore up the floor and nothing happened. You're saving my ass on this. And you're just saying that to make me feel better. But it worked, and I'm glad someone planned for this. Did my hear know? He procured everything on my list. Thankfully, he also knew we were most likely going to have Dragana blast away in. So what do I do? Keep an eye out for a moment. Take this. Careful not to dislodge the line. And uh, place it in the center. Be quick, and don't let them fool you if they try. We'll put the second charge here at the door. You'll be safe here? Are you a good shot? Well... I would guess not. Then I am as safe now as I will be when you walk away. <laughs> the fog outside hasn't lifted. How is it going up there? We'll be down soon. The fog won't lift. Not yet. But we may be able to fix that. 
It's in place. I didn't see anything. Wire still in place? Yes. Good. We can go. Head on down to the others. I'm, I'm right behind you. I'll see you soon, Graham. I miss you. Everyone ready? We need to move. How's Simon doing? Yeah, he's been asleep since we put him in the stretcher. We're ready to get going. This place needs to be as far away from us as possible, as quickly as possible. Hey, Simon, hang in there. We're getting out of here. Everything is packed. Mm, do you think we'll have time to look for more of Shaw's notes down in the tent? There's almost nothing left of Base Camp Piedra, Doctor. Don't focus on the work. Just get out of here. Yes, we have enough. Speaking of the camp, Raimi, Graham will be covering the back until we head past the glyphed sections. I'll help you with Simon. But I need to get your harness set up. Yes, whatever we need. Good. Come over here in this light. Hey, Simon. Take this for me down the mountain, all right? It's a few letters in my phone. There are directions for it all. I hope you get into the doctoral program you wanted, or maybe you'll choose something else now. Whatever it is, I wish you the best. Ava, be careful. Don't mess with the straps. We just got them set for the descent. Did he wake up? No, he's still asleep. And I'm not. I'm just sipping up his jacket a bit more. It's cold out there and he's sick enough as it is. Oh, Graham, here. I'll move better without the camera. And we're leaving now, so there won't be much to see. You sure about this? Yes. Everything is done. Everyone ready? No objections? Raimi, you're in front with Dragana and Simon Stretcher. Dr. Guerrero, stay next to Simon. Ava and I will follow behind. When we get past the glyphs and reach base camp, we'll switch up. But for now, we need to assume we may have some followers. And that bird. We're here to help. You have to control Simon on the way down as well as you can. I'll help, but if we see that thing, I'll need both hands to take a shot. I think the professor should be in the front to guide him down, and I'll stay behind him to take the weight. I would agree, but we have reason to believe these things are after Yosefa, and we need her between Graham and me, and Ava can't be relied on due to her injuries. Then I'll make it happen. I can help. I won't risk Hall just because of a threat. If I have to be behind him, let me have a line and I can guide his speed. At least until we reach camp. Works for us. Just remember, slow and steady. That's it. Let's go. Stay ahead of us and keep a steady pace. I've got him for now. There's a shadow up there. It's still here. Don't stop moving. Well, the status army is in it. The counter study. Is that what you think is out here? Yes. We saw it on the way up. It's massive. It's getting closer. Stay close to the wall. Stop! Don't go. Ah, shit! Josefa, get down and stay down! It will come back! Get between us and let's go. We need to get to Raimi and Simon before they hit the edge to the ice field. They might have stopped, but we can't risk them going over. Where's Eva? Eva? Raimi? Simon? If you can hear us, get to an alcove or get near the rocks. Keep moving. You'll need to circle back to come from the south again. Here it comes again! Get down! Eva! Did it take her? I didn't see it take anyone. Shit, where is she? Keep moving. She might have gone after Simon. Where did she go, Graham? She made her choice. She went back to the cave. We need to go get her. You can take yourself down to the others. I'll head back to the cave. No. She is sick. The things got to her. She was never going to make it. And she knew it. We need to get off this mountain. I saw it myself. We 
have to hurry. She's going to die up there, alone, Graham. How long will it take for the sickness to take her? She won't wait that long. She'll probably wait just long enough for us to be past the fall zone. Fall zone? What's going on? She's going to blow up the chamber. Are you all right? We're fine. Is Eva with you? I'm sorry, I dropped the line. The rock struck my hand and I let go. I'm so sorry. We're fine, Professor. And no, Eva's not with you? She's gone. We can't focus on her now. We need to focus on getting out of here before... The first shake may have been a foreshock. We were all in danger up here. Gone? It took her? Who? What's going on? Nothing. We're going down the mountain. We're going to get out of here. She hasn't blown it yet. She's giving us time. We need to be on the other side of that ridge. Otherwise, we'll suffer anything that comes down the slope from the cave. All right, Raimi, in front. Josepha, control Simon's descent. Tragana, stay with Josepha, and I'll watch the back. In their fast and uncontrolled descent, the team had quickly reached the remains of base camp Piedra. While not spoken of, the team appeared aware of the shadows moving within the white of the fog. They continued for another 15 minutes until they found themselves yet again returned to the furthest extent of the base camp's debris. The following is the continued recording from Mr. Kasner's body camera. follow a path we just hiked? We left Mars! How, how the hell did we end up back here? It's this place. It will let us live. We have markers. There's a path. If this place really was built like a lure, they must have closed the gate to the trap somehow. I don't know how, but this is it. The furthest we got was the second tile. Let's keep going and get back to there. Graham, we were on the right path. We're going in circles. We need to get as far as we can. As long as they're after us, we won't get off this mountain. That's not a plan. Ava is the plan. The team then began another descent of their initial marked path out of the area of Base Camp Piedra. The continuing winds had stirred up and pushed away much of the fog, but snow had begun to fall. This concludes the eight set of documents and recordings from the rescue team at the site on Cerro Torre and completes this section of information regarding the rescue operation at Base Camp Piedra. Back in Stockholm, I was brought inside the Welsingener Handelsbolag building for my meeting. Once I was inside, the woman Ebba gave my phone to the front desk attendant and escorted me to the lift. We rode to the uppermost floor and Ebba directed me to sit in a well-appointed waiting area. From one side of the room, the view looked over the distant city of Stockholm, while a view to the north showed a sprawling area of apartment buildings, rolling fields and small patches of trees. At this point, Ebba politely excused herself to make the tea I had requested, and I went to the private restrooms to turn on the secondary recording device. The following section is from several minutes later, when Ebba returned to the waiting room. Sorry for the wait. The tea is fresh, and feel free to take it into the meeting as well. I know she won't mind. Here are some Hallengrottor. Help yourself. It's a good time for morning fika, so I thought it might be nice. Is there anything else I can get for you? If I have an appointment, why am I waiting out here? She's just finishing up a call, and once it's over, she'll come out and greet you, I'm sure. This building is very nice. Very modern. When was it built? Well, construction started in 2000, I believe. 
Välstigna handelsbolag moved in once the construction was completed in 2002. The whole building is ours, that we've seen the best view already. Many of the lower levels are offices and call centers for Välstigna. And the lowest four floors and two basement cells are some of our labs. Wow, look at how you've grown. Come, come in. Ebba, please bring in the tea. Oh, and the snack, just in time. I had a craving. Tack, Ebba. Inga samtal tills ni är klara, tack. Of course. Please sit down. I have to resist the urge to hug you. I've been told it can be off-putting for the British. I hope Ebba got you everything you wanted. She did. She's very accommodating. What do I call you? Well, I know your father didn't raise you with a mother, so if you're not opposed, I was hoping you would call me Moor. It's mother for Swedish. Swedish for mother. Sorry. I have been nervous to see you again. I'm really so happy you came to see me. You look so much like him, but also a lot like my grandmother. I do look like him enough. I was very sorry about your daughter's passing. It was still rather recent. Such a terrible thing never should have happened. The car accident? Yes. It was surprising to find out I had a half-sister, and to hear from you. My father never spoke about you. Never? No. You were an avoided topic. For the longest time, until I was perhaps 14 or 15, I thought you were dead. That's understandable. We did not part of good terms. But you're here now, and we still have lots of time ahead of us to remedy the past. But how is he doing? He's fine. Business is going well, and he's currently enamoured with golfing. He had the groundskeeper set up a putting green on the far side of the property. <laughs> I find it hard to think of him as a golfing man, but I'm glad he's doing well. You already knew this. It is polite to ask. Thank you for the condolences. I wish you could have met Essie. She was kind and a little naive. I wonder what kind of older sister you would have been had you stayed with me. Well, I would have been Swedish, so that would have been different. But I guess now we'll never know. Since we have dispensed with some of the pretense, I would also like to say I was so sorry and terrified to hear about your accident. It was years ago. I'm used to it now. Thankfully, I'm right-handed. I know. It was a small bit of luck, that. But, thankfully, it will all be sorted soon. So, shall we begin? I have the rest of the day blocked off for you. I'll take as much time as you need. Not every day a mother gets her daughter back. Do you still enjoy Kohl Dolmar? For a two-year-old, you always seem to enjoy them. It was a bit odd, but I was thinking of ordering some in for lunch. I don't remember what those are. Why were there envelopes of photos in the car? I thought they might help smooth things over. I know we have a lot to talk about regarding the now and the future, so... I wanted to see if it was possible to quicken over the past. Your father meant a lot to me. So much. He made me incredibly happy, and you made me... You made us a family, and it was the greatest two years of my life. After we split, I didn't find happiness again until Essie. What about your second husband? <sighs> he gave me Essie. I will always be grateful for that. I think you're right. It might be best for us just to get to the reason we're here. You didn't just send me a letter to tell me about my half-sister or to invite me back into your life. You sent me coordinates to a location as Svalbard. Orders to come home. A request to come home. A letter from some old dead Danish woman. And this. Hey, Sveva, gamla ven. Welcome and him. What's going on? How did you get this artifact back? I sent it off for examination. Since you sent it to me with no context, I made attempts to collect my own information. It always comes home. 
And that is why we are here now, so that I may explain such things. It would be unbelievable if all I did was write it in a letter. No, this is better, sitting down, speaking together. Though perhaps some context would have been better. You should not have sent it away. It's dangerous. For them, that is. That's the kind of statement that requires more explanation. Well, Sveda is the family charm. We've had it since... as long as our collective memory. It accompanied me to university. <laughs> My mother just did not trust me to go alone. <sighs> After Essie's accident, I grew so worried about you, so I sent Sveda over along with a request for you to come home. So you're watching me and sent after it? I sent a lot of money along with that thing. It was confirmed that I would be receiving some information, at least assumptions on its origins. Do you need the money back? We can make those arrangements. I'm not worried about the money. <sighs> what about Outpost Freestead? All the current happenings in Patagonia? There are things out there killing people. Did you send anyone you knew? What? Uh, yes, Mihir Ayesa. I've worked with him before. I hope you were not overly fond of him. I'm sorry to say, he will most likely not return. He knew too much already when you sent him off. <sighs> this is such a long conversation. I think I'll need a coffee after all. Ebba, är du snäll och tar in lite kaffe? Ta beställ lunch också. Jag har redan lämnat en lapp med vad vi vill ha och ta in... Förresten, jag kommer ut alldeles strax. I will be right back. I won't be long, so please make yourself comfortable and have a hallongrotta if you haven't already. At this point, I was left alone in the office yet again, this time with the unboxed artifact. While sitting there, I was unsure if the artifact looked like it had the evening before or like it had before I had sent it off for research. The artifact upset me, so I stood up to walk around the office. Given time to study the large office, I was able to further examine some of the artwork and displays. The glass case near the eastern windows held an old stack of papers bound together with degrading twine. The topmost page had faded and was no longer legible. Next to the bound papers was an old book or journal. While no words were written on the outside, indicating it was more likely a journal than a printed book, it did have the date 1596 scratched into the leather in the bottom right corner. Opposite the glass case on the western wall was a pedestal with a medium-sized abstract stone sculpture. It had no discernible shape, but it was bolted to the pedestal and the pedestal was bolted to the floor. This concludes the fourth set of records regarding my own strain of inquiry into the events that took place in Svalbard and on Cerro Torre. The White Vault, 